Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Warno. Today we have a 2v2 on loop. We have Koch and myself playing as the Pack Forces, and Shocktail, or as we call him, Elric, and Thoughtful Frag playing as NATO. Shocktail is playing 5th Panzer, Thoughtful is playing 8th Infantry, Koch is playing Rugner, and I'm playing 39th, as that is something I am very familiar with. And uh, funny enough, on this one, we all decided to be in the same Discord channel as opposed to splitting up into little groups, and uh, it was really awkward and quiet because none of us wanted to talk and give away our, uh, our, what do you call it, strategy. So over here, little awkward meeting between uh, Shock Till and myself, however, oh, he got, got them just in time. He unloaded and got the Panzerfaust shot, um, but I did get these guys over here, so uh, we will have a problem. However, because they had to unload early, it might give me something, although I realized not good because I, I did not micro well enough, and over here I have the same, same issue that Jaeger, just absolutely obliterating my BTR-60. However, I did get these Razvetka up over here, but I think the Jaegers are better if I remember right. I don't even think my Razvetka are... Are they shooting? Not sure. Uh, I might have pushed a little bit too far, which is not good, and those guys just absolutely obliterated by this Tornado HE. Good play on his part. However, getting this Conquerors in this building very good. Took out a Martyr, although he did get his troops out just in time. So our advance stalled a little bit by Elric over here. This one might hit. Yep, it, I mean, it sort of hit. I think it was a, like, what do they call it? Glancing blow or whatever. Did ruin its cohesion. So I have to change my tactics up a little bit over here. However, I did bring some T-80s right off the bat. Uh, where is this Strela going? That's a little risky. Should bring it back a little bit. I don't think I realize... There we go, yeah, yeah. Um, I need to move my truck, though. Hopefully I remember to move my truck. Once again, this is still pretty early in my playing, uh, playing hours, so I'm very... I, I would say not very good yet. Um, like, this BMP-1 is far too close to these Jaegers. However, they are out of Panzerfaust shots, so hopefully all of this can take out these guys. Might not, though. Might not. Uh, t 80 is struggling because these uh, Alfklarar have their Panzerfaust 44s. We have an F4 doing a run over here. Not quite sure what I am bringing up. Looks like another T-80. And I must have attack ordered them as opposed to quick move or fast move on the road. And Koch just... Oh, that's Koch's MI-2D scouting. That's an expensive pick. That's basically all of my uh, points early. So we are... Trying to survive over here, Leopard 1E5, I mean, I'll take that, but this is bad. The, the Ofclar are, are absolutely going to wreck us, um, and we're going to lose a T-80. You know, sending sending tanks into trees against infantry with uh, RPGs, basically, is not, not good. However, maybe we'll take them out. I mean, if we just stay there... Yep, okay, we did finally take him out. Not efficient trading, though. Uh, losing a T-80 BV that early, not good whatsoever. Looks like I'm bringing up another T-80 BV. Um, yep, so we're spending a lot of points on T-80s. Not sure if that is a good plan or not. I don't know if I like that positioning of that Strela. Um, we do have some clusters coming in. And this might hurt. It's going after the BMP. So not as bad as it could be, but the BMP is destroyed. This is bad. There we go. Conker's dead. And not much to show for it. So Shocktail really uh, putting on the pressure early for me, but Shocktail does have a problem here in that he is uh, having to deal with the middle and my side. Although, to be fair, Koch is sort of in the same position. Um, Thoughtful Frag with those scouts. 
However, they're not scouting anything. They need to be in a better position. Um, that would be very good information for him. SU-22 coming in. I don't think there's a lot of AA over here. He did smoke off, though. Uh, very good on his part, so that ruined what I wanted to do. However, I see all the Geppards over here. Can we get a cluster off? Uh, that is Koch, and very good shot by Koch, even though he loses it. I'm trying to come back around. I don't see any- or I saw that F4, that's what it was. And I want to drag the F4 over my anti-air. Do get an Igla shot off, maybe... It does miss, but at least causes it to use some of its ECM. And then my MiG-23 cheeky shot off, but fails. And looks like my... Did I lose it, or... I'm not, not really sure. Pretty sure I had a AT plane out there, but um... Now it's time to regroup, figure out how to attack this. Uh, this is pretty nasty, 2A4s, 1A5s. Pushing forward and attacking, however, we do have something to deal with it. Um, not good though. That T-80BV is going to be taken out. I am moving that T-80BV up, but we need to smoke and run away. I don't know if we have any smoke left is the problem. Um, yeah, he's just really noticing that I am struggling in the middle, bringing up Conkers. Uh, actually, Koch is helping me out, which is desperately needed. Koch, um, to be fair, uh, Koch probably overwhelming Thoughtful Frag. Thoughtful Frag is more on my my level. Um, nice hit by the Motostroki. Very nice hit by the Motostroki. And the Motostroki take out the 2A3, which is really good. And then this T80 gets a cheeky shot on that 1A5. And then a ATGM going in for this 1A5, and a big hit there, while the 2A4 and the 1A5 are really concentrating on this Moto Strokey. So this T80 getting some work done. Cluster Bomb coming out. He does move his Leopard 2A4, um, but looks like he's going to take out my Cluster Plane. However, that Cluster did take out that Leopard 2A4, so pretty good. They're not sure what the LGB-1 took out, but it got out of there alive. Um, now it's time to try to bait these air assets of... I, I, I keep calling them Shocktail because this is in-name game, in game if I go between Elric and Shocktail. That's because those are both his names. Koch doing a fantastic job in the middle securing that. And then over here, Koch really doesn't have to do anything um, because he has a fantastic defense over there. Uh, I've brought up Estrella over here to help help out with AA, and you can see that uh, a lot of points of shock tills down the drain over here. He basically just has a couple infantry and some anti-aircraft assets, and this Conquer is getting a shot on that Roland and taking it out, so even less AA over there. Um, this SU-27 getting a cheeky shot on that F4, pretty good. This tornado, however, going to take out my Conkers, unfortunate for me, and dead. So Strella over here, I think I must have done a move order instead of an attack order there, um, but we are trying to move up some scouts around the side, see if we can get over there. SU-27 taking a hit from the Roland. This F4 might chase down, maybe not, doesn't seem to have the range, and my A assets should be in range. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. But Koch uh, realizing that over here is kind of the weak point. As I said, over here doesn't really have to worry because Thoughtful Frag, um, I, as I was trying to say earlier, he's more on par with me in terms of how well he plays. Or not how well he plays. His experience. Probably uh, next tier up from me. Seed going out by Thoughtful Frag. But I don't think, I don't think we have anything radar based over here. I think the only thing that is, are the Krugs radar based? Air defense, uh, yeah, Krug is radar based, but I, I think the Strellas are infrared. Yeah, they're all uh, fire and forget missiles. So we don't have a lot for those seed planes to attack. It's really, 
really just Koch. Um, Koch telling me that I could probably do a push from over here onto the river, and that might catch what Shocktail has left by surprise. Um, I do need to... Well, I, I need to resupply these guys because they're not fit for a push. And I don't have a lot on the battlefield right now. Koch moving up troops. Looks like he's planning on that. Ooh, that, is, that feels rough there. Long range shot by the Krug. That Krug, uh, when it hits, is basically a one shot, one kill. Just the problem is normally the Krug is 35% accuracy. So it's pretty bad in that regard. This F-16C... Getting frisky, I do have a MiG-27 back here, but he's flying right into the death trap. I mean, there's one hit, there's two hits, and it's down. And that was something I was trying to do was layer my anti-aircraft defenses over here. And just flood it so that he couldn't continue destroying me with his a or with his aircraft. Now, this is where you can see I'm not a good player yet. And uh, I bombed that building because, well, I didn't like that building. Screw that building. Really, I thought somebody was in there. Um, this is really bad. This is bad. Yeah, I, I can't be doing this. Can't be having troops move up or tanks move up that close against enemy. I smoke. Actually get out of the way. But oh, I lost the MiG-27. Really unfortunate. And moving my T-80 BV closer to the Panzer Grenadiers. Not good. I mean, it's tanking those hits. Maybe it can take them out, but not a good, not a good use of my T-80BV right here. BTR-60 moving up. Wasn't quite sure what I was trying to do there. Really need something to move up and help this T-80, but it looks like it will take out these Banzer Grenadiers. They are routed. Moving back. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to reverse yet by the looks of it. It is a G for those of you wondering. You press G. As I said, this is still pretty early on in my multiplaying. Um, left side, really nothing going on. Although Elric, uh, trying to help out Thoughtful Frag over here, maybe on a push. Not really sure. Just it's only one to a four, and this pack K fifty two holding fire. Interesting that it's. Oh, it's these scouts here that probably saw it. And this 2A4, probably going to die though, because you do have ATGMs over here. Now, Thoughtful Frag, not sure what this F-16C is doing. I can hear more air assets, and I'm just uh, keeping this back here. Something that you want to do. Probably a few more orders than that though, but give it orders to go back and forth as much as possible until you need it, keybind it to a group. And then when you see enemy HE like this coming in, then you can give it the order to attack. And I think I do. I think I do. Maybe not. Well, it's got such long range missiles anyways. Um, does look like it went down. Yeah, we just got a really good... Um, a lot of AA. This Rapira, not in a good position. I, um, this is something I'm trying to get better at, is utilizing vehicles like this. T-80 coming in, um, yeah, and he doesn't like my Rapira, so he said, screw that. And that's generally what happens with my Rapiras. I don't seem to be very good with them, but I'll take that trade. I will take a Tornado IDS for a Rapira. I think the Rapira, do I have another one? It is 75 points, plus the transport is probably, what, 20? So it's probably about 90, 90 points or so. 95 points. Versus that, uh, that tornado, I think, is like a 265-point airplane. It is not cheap. I mean, the cluster is 240. Um, oh, he sees my T-80 BVK. Need to reverse it out of there. Or get some anti-aircraft assets. It's going to die. I move it at the last second a little too late. It's going to take some damage. It won't die. Oh, that's... I don't think that's the good cluster plane. Uh, oh, I can't see it anymore. Another MiG-23 goes down, though. Uh, this F-4... If that survives, I will be absolutely floored. And it does not. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, it did. That was really weird. 
it disappeared right here on the map, so not really sure what that's about. Uh, trying to get some nice firing lanes. I do have a Conkers up here, which is great. I need a Conkers back in this building for sure. Um, and unfortunately, whatever that is, Leopard 1A5. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit. So we do get a nice shot off. I am trying to get a Rapira into these trees over here because I think that would be a good spot. Support it with a Estrella. Moving up forces. Uh, trying to get through these forests because I don't see anything over here. And I feel like if I can get forces around this flank that I can cut off uh, the enemy. Thoughtful Frag bringing up a CV. And really he should put it about here. Uh, keep it nice and safe. Looks like we have some Unimogs that we have seen. But that is okay. Once again over here. Uh, this is pretty nice. Koch really doesn't have to micro much over here, which is good. He's just concentrating on the center, and it's sort of a mixed bag of Thoughtful Frag and Elric or Shocktail in the center, while, um, <laughs> I'm not really doing much, to be honest, over here. Oh, I don't have a command vehicle. Oh, no, I do have a command vehicle. Hiding in that corner. Um, keeping a Strela nearby. Got a... Uh, supply truck over here. I have Motostroki over here. I have, uh, or Koch has his Krug over here. Um, this thing, I don't think I realize at this point that the MTLBs do have a machine gun on them. So I need to make better use of them. But we are planning somewhat of an attack over here. Moving Iglas over there, moving Strellas up. T80 BV, T80 BV command. Um, more T80 BVs. I don't like these over here, but. We have some good line of sight on this road, and it's not going to be pretty for anybody coming down this road. Um, however, well, I guess maybe that was that T80. This Offclar could get a cheeky shot on my T80 BV if it was not on return fire. This Igla, a little bit scary. That is, I don't know how it survived, uh, probably because... All of these guys are on return fire. I mean, these... Yeah, there there you go. He turned... Uh, did he turn it off? I don't know. But these guys could have done a world of hurt to me, and I don't think I can see them whatsoever. I do see this incoming. And, yep, yeah, another rep, uh, Rapira taken out. However, Tornado down. I think that is all of his MWI is down. Another cluster coming. I think he saw these guys. Not entirely sure how he saw them. Um, maybe when his plane went over, they shot at him because they do have auto cannons. So quite possible that's what happened, or they just have that bad of stealth that that tornado. This uh, this Strella evading death over here. Really, if he didn't have those guys on return fire, he could have probably taken quite a few out. Unfortunately, I lost a T-80 BV there, but lots of stuff grouping up over here. And I think it was at this point in Discord that Elric was like, holy crap, that is a lot of tanks over there. And Koch sees a target and Koch kills a target. I think these are pretty cheap aircraft too. 80 point aircraft, so being able to spam those, and I mean, 240 points for I think the Leopard 2A4s are 260. Maybe, is there, are there any more 2A4s on the battlefield to where I can confirm how much those things are? Well, nope, looks like we have destroyed every single 2A4 on the battlefield. I think they are somewhere in the 280 point vicinity. They are expensive, and my A network just doing work, and this was really disappointing for Elric that uh, he was not able to kill this Strela because my A defenses were really giving him a hard time. And I'm moving some troops up into this forest over here. However, I don't think I have any anti-aircraft assets over here. So as soon as he sees my guys in the forest, he'll be able to destroy it. So a Leopard 2A3 is 240. That was a 2A4 that we killed with three of those little 80-point planes. So, I mean, it's a it's an equal trade 
with a 2A3, so it's a better trade against a 2A4. Uh, these Cobras see my troops in the forest. Not good. Trying to, uh, trying to save them. I do have this MiG-23 coming in because there is no anti-aircraft assets over here. Just his F-16s and F-4. Not a great trade. Uh, very good response from them on that part. However, I, or Koch, Koch realizes where the command must be and starts shelling it. I'm moving troops over. I need to move this Igla over. I need to move this vehicle over. Koch bringing up, uh, is that the Death Coffin? Coffin Launcher? Yeah, those things just delete buildings. And as you can see, because Koch doesn't have to micro the left, um, he's really, really pushing up the middle, helping me push the left. I'm trying to be cheeky over here, moving troops up, um, but we're getting good positions. I'm spreading anti-aircraft assets out, so it's just a line of death. Uh, I've got an Igla in this building, Igla here, Strella here, um, just making it to where his aircraft can't really... Uh, I mean, they, they can't do too much damage, although this Toe Cobra is uh, doing enough damage over here. But I think it's out of... Well, it's got one Ito left. It's probably going to hit this T-80PV. Oh, just got out of range. Okay. This should be moving into range. Uh, I have a move order and not an attack command over here. One Strella shot, smoking that BMP and everything deciding to miss. It's just a helicopter, but it is the uh, jinkiest and jinkiest helicopter you ever could see. Side shot on the Abrams. Awesome hit from that BMP-1. Um, just absolutely decimating that Abrams over there. Uh, this is not good. I attack ordered and that's going to die. I think I didn't realize it's going over there. Some artillery spam coming from... Is it mostly from Thoughtful Frag? Yeah, Thoughtful Frag hitting us pretty hard. Um, that didn't feel good whatsoever. My helicopter goes down due to my negligence and losing BMP-1 conquers. Um, but we are pushing up over here with anti-aircraft assets and great... Well, I mean, in theory it was a great attack, but didn't do anything. Uh, but if I can get a assets in this forest over here, his aircraft are going to have a really, really tough time. Um, this weasel isn't really going to do anything. I think this is the only real radar guided. I did get something off. Oh yeah, Osis, and it missed. Oh no. Oh, that feels so bad. It did have targets, but Koch might have turned his weapons off in the nick of time. Because Koch, uh, as I mentioned in previous video, Koch, very good 1v1 player. Um, he does have a pretty good rank in on ranked uh, attacks. I think that was Koch telling me to get a CV up there, and I'm trying... Trying... Maybe, uh, I think that's the only CV I have on the battlefield. Oh no, I've got one. I've got one over here, and I decided to keep that one where it is. Move over here. Tow Cobra coming up, but I don't think he realizes how many anti-aircraft assets I have in the area. Although, he's lowered his helicopter, which is really smart. So, my Iglas are going to have a tough time finding a good shot. Uh, very good on Thoughtful Frag's part there because I'm having to move my stuff. Uh, decompression here, a little bad. There we go, there's some volume. But finally get that tow cobra down. I think at this point uh, they realized uh, there's a lot in this woods and it's uh, maybe not looking too good. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, I am preemptively trying to delete this building. However, a assets incoming but I think he will find out. I mean, he'll probably take that out, but lots of A assets in the forest here, and this F-16C should go down. Yep. So I will take that trade, um, luring their 
aircraft over our AA, slowly grinding them down. I am not very good with uh, I'm not very good with the aircraft yet, and they have been decimating with me with their aircraft. So the more we can destroy, the better. Um, because I'm mostly doing infantry pushes now. This is pretty tasty over here if we could get a shot. And then this guy has not great vision, but okay vision. We are trying to do as much as we can to push up over here. Um, this is me bringing a task force up, getting more <laughs> iglas in the forest, because why not? Oh, got the rolling three, hitting the helicopter, and down goes the spotter. Rather unfortunate, but... We do have the push going. I mean, we're on a plus six, so we don't need this spot. But uh, very, very good by uh, Koch played an absolutely amazing game here. I feel like I didn't really do too much other than soak up a crap ton of aircraft uh, munitions. So you can see uh, probably not good that Thoughtful Frag was mostly up against Koch. As I said, Thoughtful Frag more on par with me and Koch was just able to be all over the battlefield. Very, very good. We take a quick look at kills and losses over here. We can see BMP-1 doing well, Conquerors okay, T-80s always do pretty well for me, um, as they should. They're expensive units, and they're arguably the best tank in the game. I think a lot of people would say that because they have that ATGM on them, which makes them really good at long range firefights. But as you can see, not, I mean, I didn't really kill a lot. Not, not really. I killed a lot of aircraft. It's mostly what I did was killing, killing aircraft and some helicopters and then helping kill leopards on my flank. Oh, I got an Abrams too. So thoughtful frag must've brought that Abrams round to my side. And then over here, um, yeah, I mean, it was basically one for one uh, in terms of kills. And then if we look at the chronology, I got spanked pretty hard early. It was not looking good for me early whatsoever. Uh, Elric really putting the pressure on, but Koch was able to help help me stabilize. And then I think that that push, um, it was pretty early. Try to see if I can find it where... Elric lost, I think it was two 2A4s, it was right here. This this felt very crippling for him, at least on from my perspective. The 2A3 going down, the two 1A5s, and the 2A4 going down, and that was a good kill by Koch with that cluster. Um, that, that sort of felt like where my side of the battlefield opened up a lot more and allowed me to push forward, so... Very fun game. It was a nice friendly game. As I said, it was kind of awkward on Discord though, because we didn't swap channels, so our uh, our voice chat went very quiet. So the next time we did a 2v2 friendly game, we did swap channels so that we could properly strategize. That's the uh, terrible way of saying uh, strategize. But it, it was it was a lot of fun, and thanks very much to Koch, Elric, and Thoughtful Frag for the game. That is it for today's episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. And as always, guys, until next time.